Well, Muslims around the world are celebrating Eid, which comes each year around this time at the end of the holy month of Ramadan. Here in the Bay Area, the Muslim community has asked for school districts to recognize Eid on academic calendars. Shot Chitness shows us or joins us now to share more on the challenges students say they face while trying to balance their responsibilities to school and their faith. Sean? Well, as families who have their students in SFUSD are looking to next year and beyond, in 2024, Eid will fall under spring break. But these families want the district to not only accommodate but observe the holiday so that Muslim students can plan on getting Eid off each year. But the school district says there's a lot that they have to consider when building a calendar, including the needs of the community and their students. Islam teaches us to be kind to one another. Aisha Masjoub makes a point to pray at her mosque at least once a week. I really value Islam because me as a woman, I feel loved in it and I feel empowered. As a sophomore in high school, it's not always easy to juggle the responsibilities of classes with the unique requirements of religion, especially during the holy month of Ramadan. They need to first understand what it feels like for us to have to go to school, to have to have no water, no food, you know, have homework, participate in classes, um, still keep up with everything that you do pre-Ramadan. The school board passed a resolution last fall to share recommendations to recognize culturally significant holidays. Members of the board expressed concern at the time about trying to accommodate Eid and other religious holidays. It's really important for us as a district and a city to celebrate culture. Um, but I would also say it's also really important for us not to, to celebrate religion. Aisha and members of the group AROC, the Arab Resource and Organizing Center, spoke at a school board meeting, bringing signs to call on leaders to finalize the proposal. We see this fundamentally as an issue of, of social and racial justice. Um, we see this fundamentally as answering uh, an equity question for our students. One concern brought up by district leaders last fall, accommodating all communities in one school year. Not every group is going to be able to have a holiday or time off. And so what does it actually mean to see folks, be inclusive of folks, if we're not able to give everyone kind of the same processes? The district has created a guide with many cultural holidays to help staff be more aware of what their students participate in outside of school. Aisha has worked to improve awareness of her culture and religion in school as well. Because while it can be difficult at times to practice her faith, Allahu Akbar, Allah. it has only strengthened her devotion. This is a hardship that we've stumbled upon, and so eventually we will have ease. If we, we just have to keep fighting for it, and one day we'll have a victory. It reinforces an important lesson happening outside the classroom. Lasting change, like a policy impacting students well after she graduates, takes time. So the district says they are working on a process, and Liz, that means that, that they would try to determine what new holidays that aren't currently on the calendar yeah. need to be recognized. Yeah, because they have the academic calendar to consider, and they have to have a certain number of instruction days, right? Exactly. So we know that there are 180 days that are required by state law. Then you have the union, which says that they want teachers to be working 184 days. Mm -hmm. So even to just add one or two days, according to the district, means they would have to change when the school district either starts or when that academic year ends. Yeah, it sounds like a small change, but it's actually a bigger deal. Right, but, a lot yeah. to consider. All right, Sean, thanks so much. Yeah.